G'day all, welcome to Ghost Hunters Brisbane. We are here at the beautiful Beanley Historical Village. Uh, we have been here once before, we didn't catch too much, but in saying that we have some exciting news for you guys. We are actually holding ghost tours here. Um, we have decided to affiliate ourselves with BHV Paranormal Investigations, Beanley Historical Village. and. Um, what we've done tonight, we've already set up uh, the REM pod, all the equipment inside, so fingers crossed we get something tonight. But in saying that, um, one of, we've done a couple of tours already, and so far we have caught unbelievable stuff. Unfortunately we didn't capture the uh, cupboard door opening, but that's happened. Um, people have been touched on command while doing the sensory deprivation. Um, you only get to see the two houses on the tour, but in saying that, this is the main house. This is Carroll House. Um, everybody here who works in the historical village knows about Carroll House. I will take you guys on a quick, um, quick tour of the house and tell you, tell you what has actually happened in each of the rooms and so forth. Like one of the tours, we're walking from Schultz House next door that one there and as <clears throat> excuse me we were doing a sensory deprivation in there didn't get anything in there as we're walking this way one of the ladies who mind you is a medium she said I want to do a sensory deprivation in the front room because we normally do it in the toy room which you guys will see but she said I just saw an apparition in that window so I want to do it there that night she was touched um, there's a man in there who doesn't like people, well, doesn't like males. He does not welcome males in there, into the room, but welcome the females in there. Um, all through sensory deprivation, that's the only way he'll communicate with us, for some reason, we don't know why yet. But every time we do a new tour, we get more and more information about what's happened in this house, and it was not nice, I can guarantee you. Something about a little girl, there's a little girl in there, she connects with a few people, selective people one of the ladies she was just about to open up the oh oh no the groundskeeper the old uh, caretaker sorry he was just about to walk to the front door to lock it at night the door slammed shut and he said i distinctly heard a little girl laughing she likes to play games she's asked me to play a game facing games as well through sensory deprivation i basically said what would you like to do she said play a game and we're all just standing around going, wow, that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, if you jump on the link page, which will be linked by the time this video goes up, um, just have a chat to us. Um, if you go to that link page, we will spe specifically only talk about the tours that we've done here. But if you stay on GHB page, obviously about what we do. So we're gonna take you through a tour through Carroll House and I'll tell you a little bit of the history about it as well. So without further ado, say hello to me. Hello to me. <laughs> Let's just jump on guys. Hey guys, time for the tour. Um, the house was built in James Street in Beanley. All these buildings around here were built in James in Beanley itself, so they haven't taken anything from outside of Beanley. Uh, built in the 1890s, 
I'm not going to give away too much info, especially names, because that's if you do come on one of our tours, that's what we've got to find out, names. Um, built in the 1890s, husband and wife obviously. Um, when the husband and wife died, it, the house was willed to their three nieces. Now when the, fine, the last lady died, um, she, the house was donated or auctioned off and bought um, Beanley Convent. I don't think it's a bird or a bat over there. Oh, okay. Beanley Convent. And that was rented out for a few years. Then it just left dormant. Nobody, it was graffitied, it was vandalised. So Beanley Historical Village picked it up, brought it back over here, brought it back to its beautiful self now. And um, that's pretty much the history of the house. In a nutshell, you learn more on the tours. <laughs> So, something that's weird, weird has recently happened. We were only talking two months ago. One of the ladies who used to work here, she was just about to open up the door in the morning, and they, she was with somebody else, and they both heard an almighty bang inside the house. Straight away, they went to the kitchen to see if it was uh, pots. That's what, that's what she told me. She said, I thought it was pots, but let's go see what it was. <laughs> the scooter's there. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> what they actually heard was this window smashing from the inside because they checked inside, there was only a tiny amount of glass. And as you can see, I don't know if that's shining, a bit of glass there, there's glass all over the place in here, just spit beads, little beads. So the glass, this, the top window was smashed from the inside out. And nobody was in the building. It'd been shut up all night for the last, what, 20 years or so, 30 years that it's actually been here. And for some reason, they can't explain why that window smashed out. So yeah, that's one of the incidents that's happened here. <laughs> Okay, now during the day I was talking to one of the workers. We were, I'll reenact what we were doing. Okay, come on, this is well. Right. This gate was completely closed. I was standing here like this, he was like this, and we both distinctly heard in between us. And we just looked at each other and he's, he was used to it because, well, basically he hears and sees a lot, of, especially in this house. Um, there is a little girl, but there is also a male in here. Nobody knows much about the male. From prior past investigations, we believe his name is Michael. And it just started getting cold in here. I know, so. Right behind me. Hang on, I'll just check if that breeze is... That's not coming out the back. Well, it's coming from that way. I hate that thing. <laughs> and sensory deprivations have been done in here. Um, if you go to the page, this part is on the page. I said can, the lady, or whoever's in here, the lady who's sitting down on the ground, can you touch her shoulder? Instantly, she's going like this. And I said, okay, she's touching her shoulder tried the experiment again. I said, can you touch her shoulder again? Next thing you know, she's going, yes, I can feel you, love. And that was, yeah, there's a few more stories that I can tell you if you do come on in the tours. So there's special content for that. <laughs> so what we might do is just start this investigation and hopefully we can catch something. We're going to have the um, the Christmas light thing in there. So if we can well, catch I'll it show them each room. Yeah, oh yeah, of course, yeah. So this is like the dining area. Not much has actually, from the reports I've heard, not much has actually happened. It's starting to decay up there. Oh, not decay, peel. Oh, yeah. Why did they know that? This lot of activity tends to have room. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. What's that? I don't know. 
Like a male voice. No, it's female to me. It's like, what time is it? How long have you been recording? 537. 537. Yeah. Okay. Now, that's the room that the um, medium was walking past. She saw a shadow figure in the window. We were going to do a sensory deprivation in here, but she said, no, I want to do it in that room. And special contents. I won't tell you exactly what happened in there. You'll find out. This is the little girl's bedroom. Oh, yeah. This is the bathroom. But I think it could have been inside. I don't know. It's just an assumption. I don't. I'm not seeing if it's connected to anything. See but it did sound like it was more just dripping tin. onto the tin. Okay, what we're talking about, one night we were here. Was it through one of the tools or not? No. No, it was just... Oh, no, it was. Because I, was. I, yeah, I bought Barry in. I was telling you no, about Oh, that. yeah, yeah. We were trying... We could hear... Like drips of water. But we couldn't work it where we were... Eventually, I was following it. I followed it here. Then I just sort of went around. I'm looking around. Can't see any water. It was raining. Can't see any water. Then I pinpointed it into there. Like not around here. I pinpointed in there. No idea why, but I looked straight in. Same as usual. Bone dry. And that was... I think that's a way the little girl... She's trying to communicate with us and tell us because she gives us a little bit more information each time we come here about what had happened. Yeah. Um, Everyone was out in that first room. And oh, I, was just, I just, just kept hearing a drip of water. I'm thinking there's definitely a leak in here somewhere. And yeah. I thought it was from that little pipe, that pipe there. It sounded really like know. it was going into the tub. But, yeah, because the, it sounded like it was going under tin. Yeah. But, but I don't. The way, what I heard wasn't tin, it was more coarse than oh, that. I heard tin, but we felt that pipe in here was bone Yeah, dry. this was There's nothing dry. like, even Barry checked it, there's, there's nothing no, leaking. There's no, I looked everywhere, there was no leaks whatsoever in, in the whole, all these houses. If there's any sort of leaks, they'll fix it up straight away. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so, done found. Did you hear that footstep over there? No. I'm not saying what you were for. No, you didn't move your feet, I just noticed that. Somebody there? K2. Not K2. Now, as soon as they come here, uh, walk here, it stops. There's definitely drafts coming into the back door, isn't there? It is. There is, isn't it? I don't know. I feel a strong draft on my back. It seems to be very light here, but more you But I feel it right here. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah, so it feels like it's here, blowing I'm right on my back. If there's a draft here, I should be feeling that. It's generally we haven't got a lighter. You can see where the... But when you think about when the bridge comes in, it either go into that room or. Into well, I was thinking you'll hit the wall and just. Oh, there's a car. <laughs> Is that a car? I think it was. 
Are you sure? That sounds like a moan. It just stopped. Somebody's here. Can you, that crystal down there, is there any chance you can move that for it? It's moving. Is it? Yep. Can you open it for gate? Just ever so slowly moving at the moment. There's no air in there. I'm going to have to take that sticker off at the bottom. Because that's impeding the view. That was 100% moan, dude. Yeah, and that was that loud. Was, the tube was instantly off. It was a car. Well, if it was a car, you would hear it going up the road, but it just stopped. Yeah, exactly. That was weird. Mm. Yeah, it just went on. Oh, you are still recording. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm not stopping him when we're getting stuff like this. Yeah. Okay, who's here with us tonight? Let us know that you're here. There's no spider webs in here. Why am I feeling a spider web? I felt them on my back of my neck just outside the door. Oh, I just felt one here. There's no spider webs in here. They've been hanging off my ear, but there's nothing there. No, I want to know if that works or not. Hey, sensor wipe just went off. I did walk down there before. Oh, okay. Oh, he just noticed it. If somebody's here, can you show yourself or let us know that you're here? Can you make a loud noise, please? We know you're here. Can you touch one of the devices we got on the ground in one of the, in either the bedroom or the lounge room? spirit box in here because this is where oh, it might have been that but it sounded like it came from down there something high pitched yeah that was this hey Michael I'm in your room I know you don't like us in here I know you don't like males in here I know you like females in here but not males so I thought I'd come into your room you got two males in here what do you think about that, buddy? Let us know how you feel about it. <clears throat> if you want us to get out, make a big noise for us, please. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, this will help you communicate with us. Tell us what you're feeling, buddy. Do you want us to get out? You gotta let us know that you're here. Show us that you're here, buddy. Gonna let us talk to the little girl tonight? Don't let people in. Oh, I miss that. Don't let people in. Really? It's only us two tonight. How does it make you feel that you that we're in here? Here? 
If the little girl is in here, can, can you say hello? Is that what you think of us? To Michael, if you want us gone, let us know. I feel like you got enough strength. Make a big bang or do something just to let us know you want us out. Just what goes to you. That's what he thinks of us. Yeah. Just said yeah. Michael, we'd like to talk to the little girl that's in here. Talk to the little girl. What the? What? Where's your camera pointing? You. A light, a white light, just went straight across like that. Oh, uh, well, that's got this yeah, part yeah. of the table here. Well, yeah, have you got on top of the table? Yeah. Like up here? Can you see my hand? I can see your arm and your wrist. You can't see here? Yeah. You might adjust it. Uh, about there. No. Uh, I can see your palm. Mm, maybe cool. Was that you, Michael, that I saw? Okay. Okay. Am I getting your name right? Is your name Michael? Yep. Is that yet? Like a I can hear this so much better with the headphones on. So if I'm getting your name right, can you make a noise in the house, please? Who are we talking to? Is the little girl in the house? Yeah. Is she in the toy room? I swear there was a little girl who said yes. I know. I know. You heard that too. I didn't know she said, but I heard the little girl voice. Would you like, Dallin, would you like us to come and sit, talk to you? Out. Me. a lady that we. Yeah, no, the <laughs> 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 I want 
talk to the little girl. Is she here? Can you say hello, please, darling? Female. Oh, oh my God. Female. I know. <laughs> it just made me jump. Me too. <laughs> so we want to talk to the female, to the little girl. Yeah, and the female. Oh my god, that's a the crack out of it. Me too. It was on camera that I jumped, how far I jumped. Yeah, we want to talk to the female. Is she here? Say father. Father. But with our, but the. I was like farther away. Well, you can't distinguish. They, the, the app doesn't know exactly what father they're talking about. Yeah. I'm <coughs> concerned that's further anyway. <laughs> no, the word father, father. is like farther away. Woman, father. Yeah, female. Female, yeah. 